Alright everybody and welcome to a part 4 of our Mass Effect 2 playthrough, Jake Geedy here. Um, and um, anyway, we were back in there because I, I missed some credits. So anyway, um, so here we are in this main room here, so let's open the door and get on with this shit. Come on, through here. We're almost at the... Miranda, but you are... Boom. Dead. Well then. What the hell are you doing? Yeah, that whoa, gotta adjust the mic here. My job. Wilson betrayed us all. Yeah, is that your idea? Due process? Even if you're sure, did he deserve that, that was welcome? pretty fucked. He sabotaged the security systems, killed my staff, and he would have killed us. You sure about that, Miranda? We've known Wilson for years. What if you're wrong? I'm never wrong. I thought you'd have learned that by now, Jeff. Oh ho! Very cocky about herself. You should have taken him alive. See what he knew. Too risky. I've put too much time and effort bringing you back to life to let you get killed now. You really Fair think enough. Wilson's capable of that? Not anymore. <laughs> Definitely ice veins. Ice water veins. All right. Well, honestly, I knew he was lying from the beginning. He was just kind of... There's, they did a very poor job of, you know, making it sound like he wasn't, so yeah, I knew he was lying. I had a feeling Wilson was just looking for a chance to shoot me in the back. Yeah. Good instincts. Oh, thank you. Some people are far too trusting to ever see that coming. Come on, let's grab this shuttle and get out of here. My boss wants to speak to you. You mean the elusive man? I know you work for Cerberus. Ah, Jacob. I should have known your conscience would get the better of you. Lying to the commander isn't the way to get him to join our cause. Well, since we're getting everything out in the open, is there anything else you want to ask before we go, Commander? Right. Convenient that you show up as we're leaving. Where were you during the attack? Besides trying to save your life? Wilson figured out I was helping you and he sent an army of mechs to take me out. I got here as soon as I could. Probably a little too soon if you ask Wilson. Where are we going? Another Cerberus facility. The elusive man is waiting for you there. And that's just a little too much. I mean, it's pretty much implied if I don't want to go along, they're going to fucking leave me here. So, uh, anyway, let's just see what she wanted to see about Lazarus Project. project. Right. That's right. I put two years of my life into this project. Into you. Why? What does Cerberus want from me? Maybe you should ask the elusive man when you meet him. He poured virtually unlimited resources into Lazarus. Obviously, he has some kind of plan for you. All right. Well, I'm interested to see what that plan is. And I forgot to start my timer, but that's okay. All right, let's go. Station to last a lifetime. Or two, in your case. Oh, oh, oh. she's also funny too. You know, what are they gonna do about the facility? Because everyone's dead in there. Anyway, overthinking it. All right. Slip space. This is a pretty gnarly ass scars, to be honest. Before you meet with the elusive man, we need to ask a few questions to evaluate your condition. Come on, Miranda. More tests? Shepard took down those mechs without any trouble. That has to be good enough. It's been two years since the attack. The elusive man needs to know that Shepard's personality and memories are intact. Ask the question. Two years? Did you say two years? I've been gone that long? Two years and twelve days. And you were on an operating table for most of it. The sooner we start, the sooner we can be done. Start with personal history. Okay. Records show you were a spacer kid, raised mostly on one ship or another. You enlisted and won a medal fighting Batarians during the Skillian Blitz. Do you remember that? I had no choice. They made me do it. I'm a monster. A lot of lives depended on me holding that position. I did what I had to. <laughs> That's exactly. want to put it. It's damn impressive. I had friends who were there. Satisfied, Miranda? Almost. Let's try something more recent. Vermeer, where you destroyed Saren's cloning facility. You had to leave one of your squad behind to die in the blast. Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams was killed in action. It was your call. Why did you leave her behind? Uh, you know, and this one's a, a bit of a, you know, and like I said, it was a hard choice. Uh, this one I decided to 
to pick Caden. Some people who, who know Mass Effect um, would be like, oh, why'd you pick Caden? Well, I've never actually played with Caden all the way through all three games, whereas Ashley, I usually always do, because um, sometimes I'll romance her or, or she's just, you know, good to have in a fight. But um, anyway, so this time I picked Caden because I want to see what uh, he's going to turn out to be. But um, yeah, we're going to go with this one. I left a friend to die that day, and I didn't do it casually. Yeah. But I had to save as many people as I could. Ash gave her life for the rest of the team. Without her, I couldn't have stopped Saren. She died a hero. I understand, Commander. And I wasn't judging your decision. Everybody at Cerberus knows that cloning facility had to be destroyed. There are other tests we really should run. Come on, Miranda. Enough with the quizzes. The memories are there, and I can vouch for Shepard's combat skills personally. I suppose you're right. We'll have to hope the elusive man accepts our little field test as evidence enough. Ooh, an even nicer space station. All right. So here we are. The elusive man is waiting for you in the other room. All right, he's waiting for me in the other room. Oh, I got a. Huh, I got some renegade points. Hmm. Uh, it's probably from uh, when I said I knew it Wilson was lying. Um, I can talk to them, but they're probably only gonna tell me like that the elusive man is waiting for me or something. Wouldn't keep the elusive yeah. man waiting. Yeah, I'm sure Miranda's gonna say the same thing. The elusive man is waiting for you in the other room. So here I can customize my gear and my armor and stuff like that. Um, we'll do that in a minute. Um, let's just go see what the elusive man wants. Yeah, let's just go see what the elusive man wants. Elusive man, elusive man. Come on. All right, here we go. This is something I actually thought was pretty freaking cool, actually. Alright. Commander Shepard. Again, smoking's bad for you, dude. Elusive man. I thought we'd be meeting face to face. Unnecessary precaution. Not unusual for people who know what you and I know. Hmm. You know, I. I don't quite. F this, this seems just like kind of like a dick thing to say. You know, you don't know me, and kind of almost kind of angsty. Um, so I'm I'm just gonna go with the neutral option here because you know, he just did spend like four billion credits on me, and there's some clipping on his chair uh, to rebuild me. So I'm I shouldn't you know I should be good not to you know bite the hand that feeds you. You know what I mean? And what exactly is it that you and I know? That our place in the universe is more fragile than we'd like to think. My <laughs> cigarette didn't quite make it to the mouth. <laughs> one man, one very specific man, might be all that stands between humanity and the greatest threat of our brief existence. The Reapers. Good to see your memory still intact. How are you feeling? <laughs> well, I mean, I suppose not bad despite everything. I noticed a few upgrades. I hope you didn't replace anything really important. We tried to like keep his you shepherd as dick. As possible. Anyway. We need Shepard. Just as you were when you defeated Sovereign. What are the Reapers doing that made you decide to bring me back? We're at war. No one wants to admit it, but humanity is under attack. While you've been sleeping, entire colonies have been disappearing. Human That's colonies. not good. We believe it's someone working for the Reapers. Just as Saren and the Geth aided Sovereign. You've seen it yourself. You bested all of them. That's just one reason we chose you. All right, let's go on to just hear some Fighting of the stuff. Fighting a war doesn't seem like Cerberus. Why are you involved? We're committed to the advancement and preservation of humanity. If the Reapers are targeting us, trying to wipe us out, Cerberus will stop them. If we wait for politicians or the Alliance to act, no more human colonies will be left. Yeah, very much, uh... Very much true about a lot of government thing, but we just won't go into that right now. Anyway. Sovereign was trying to harvest all life in the galaxy. Why would the Reapers target a few human colonies? Hundreds of thousands of colonists have vanished. I'd say that fits the definition of harvesting. Yes, it does. Nobody's paying attention because it's random, and the attacks occur in remote locations. I don't know why they've suddenly targeted humanity. Maybe you got their attention when you killed one of them. Maybe I did, because I'm kind of a badass. You know, I'm kind of a big deal. I'm Commander Shepard. I save game. I save <laughs> save games. Well, I do save games, but I save uh, planets and galaxies. So let's see what the Alliance says. If this is a threat against humanity, 
You need to mobilize the Alliance. They suffered substantial losses fighting Sovereign. Their rebuilding still stretched too thin to waste resources verifying the Reaper threat. Blaming the abductions on mercs and pirates is easier and more convenient. Of course it is. Alright. Now, why me? You could have trained an entire army for what you spent to bring me back. Probably two armies. You're unique. Not just in ability or what you've experienced, but in what you represent. You stood for humanity at a key moment. You're more than a soldier. You're a symbol. And I don't know if the Reapers understand fear, but you killed one. They have to respect that. Alright, maybe I believe you, sharply dressed man. If what you say is true, if the Reapers are behind this, I'd consider helping you. I'd be disappointed if you accepted any of this without seeing for yourself. I have a shuttle ready to take you to Freedom's Progress, the latest colony to be abducted. Miranda and Jacob will brief you. Am I supposed to trust them? Miranda killed Wilson in cold blood. Jacob's just a gun for hire. You expect me to trust them? Wilson was one of my best agents, but he was a traitor. Miranda did exactly what I expected of her, and she saved your life in more ways than one. Jacob's a soldier, one of the best. He's never fully trusted me, but he's always been honest about it. You'll be just fine with them. For now. For now. Anyway. Um, I don't have a choice, do I? Is this a volunteer job, or am I being volunteered? You always have a choice, Shepard. If you don't find the evidence we're both looking for, we can part ways. But first, go to Freedom's Progress. Find any clues you can. Who's abducting the colonies? Do they have any connection to the Reapers? I brought you back. It's up to you to do the rest. All right. Yay, level two. Let's see, there's my... Now I'm going to get a whole bunch of little achievement stuff and things like that because of my DLC and everything. Uh, it's going to take a while. Um, but let's go ahead and take a look at uh, what we have armor-wise. Casual appearance. Actually, oh, very space rogue. Um, I'm not really a Han Solo kind of guy. I mean, I like that, but no, nah, I think I'm going to go with, uh, hmm. Yeah, I'm going to go with this one. More of the, uh, gentleman captain kind of thing. I like that. So we'll apply that change, and now let's go to armor. So we have armor wise. Alright, so okay, so these are the armor sets we have. These ones are actually pretty cool. This is the 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 um, uh, collector set. We'll we'll find out who they are a bit later. Uh, Blood Dragon one. This one's pretty cool. Um, I do like this one. Um, I wish some of these ones came in parts and weren't just like you know total um, you know all full piece armor things. And then we got the N7 helmet, and I never really like the N7 helmet thing, but I'm just gonna see if we have anything new that I can put on. No, no. Oh, that's right. I got to buy all the stuff for the DLC stuff. But anyway. All right. Well, if we do any customization stuff, we'll do that a bit later. Anyway. All right. So we just want to change the casual appearance here. Oh, and I got an achievement there. Fucking throwing out achievements left and right. All right, Miranda. Nice ass, by the way. And uh, what do you have to say? The elusive man is very impressed with you. I'm eager to see if you can live up to his expectations on this mission. Just remember who's in charge. Um, well, I suppose I should thank her for, you know, building me again. I never got a chance to say how much I appreciated what the Lazarus Project did for me. I just hope it was worth it. A lot of people lost their lives on that station. <laughs> Bitch, I'm just trying to be nice to you. We have to work together here. Your attitude isn't helping anything. I have the utmost respect for your abilities, Shepard. It's your motivations that concern me. I believe in what Cerberus stands for. Only time will tell if you prove to be an asset or a liability to our cause. All right, I, I, fair enough. I'm kind of getting an, an idea. You know, that's that's okay, understandable, fine. I get what you mean. Tell me a little about yourself. Worried about my qualifications? I can crush a mech with my biotics or shoot its head off at a hundred yards. Take your pick. Uh -huh. I was trying to get to know you as a human being. 
I'm not looking for a friend, Shepard. Stay focused on the mission. Ouch. God. Did you and Jacob serve together in the Alliance? No. The elusive man recognized my potential and recruited me at a young age. How old were you? Old enough to know this is what I wanted. Fair enough. Well, that's all we really need to know. Uh, it's obvious you're not interested in talking. We've got an yeah. assignment. We can talk about it or we can do it. Very no nonsense. Okay. All right, Jacob. I'm glad the elusive man convinced you to join us, Commander. I just want to find out what happened to those missing people. I still don't trust Cerberus. Noted. Do you trust me, Commander? Yes, I do. You're actually. a good man, Jacob. But you might be working for the wrong people. Maybe. But I thought the same when I was with the Alliance. That's why I'm here now. So, well, let's talk about Jacob and the Alliance you real quick. You said you served in the Alliance? Five years in total. Stationed all over the galaxy. Even spent a couple of years as a Corsair. Corsair? I've never heard of the Corsairs. It was an Alliance initiative. They hired independent starship captains and used them for missions that fell outside official... So, privateer, essentially. Technically, we weren't part of the Alliance. If we ever got caught, they could disavow any knowledge of us. <laughs> we were supposed to be free from restrictions and rules. But there was still enough red tape to sink a cruiser. I finally just gave up. Alright, so space privateers wasn't quite for you. Okay. Why did you join Cerberus? I guess I just got tired of never making a difference. So much of what we did in the Alliance seemed pointless. I thought things would change after the attack on the Citadel. Humanity was finally invited to join the Council. But nothing changed. Politics, bureaucracy, same bullshit, different oh, leaders. So vulgar. But Cerberus is different. When colonies go missing, we don't commission a team to write a report to figure out what the hell to do about it. We just go and find out. All right. Do you know anything about this colony we're going to? How much to? on ceremony? It's called Freedom's Progress. Don't know much else. I guess we'll find out when we get there. That's all for now. All right. Yes, sir. All right, let's do this shit. Oh, that's right. I have some squad points I gotta send. To spend. Okay. Um, so here's where we're gonna upgrade stuff. Um, operatives. So this will give me all oh, my health stuff and weapon damage and all that. I'm gonna upgrade my cloak though, cause I'm gonna use that uh, a little bit later on. Uh, so we're gonna go boom. Here's rank, and that's gonna open up one of my favorite things, which is gonna be incinerate, which is gonna be great. Just fantastic. Alright, so I'm good here. Don't need to worry about that. So now the door will open up, and now let's go to Freedom's Progress! Alright. So, uh, that actually seems like a good place to stop. Uh, we're about 15 minutes in, a little more than that. So, um, we're just gonna try to go in 15 minute increments. Alright, so that's good for this part. Uh, tune in next time for the next part where we're going to go through Freedom's Progress and uh, figure out, hopefully, what's going on with these missing human colonies. So, stay tuned. Meow, meow, crunch, crunch. All hail Taco Cat. And, uh, yeah. Bye-bye now.